Welcome, these are 20 amazing and head exploding facts with added wow. So let's get started. The Madison County Record reported a lawsuit in 2012 where an Illinois man sued Pepsi after discovering a mouse in his can of Mountain Dew. Pepsi contested the case and won by demonstrating that any mouse would have dissolved within 30 days inside the container and that the can in question was purchased 74 days after its manufacturing date. A British study analyzed 600,000 health records and found that every year spent studying after completing school could increase a person's lifespan by 11 months. The reason for this is still unclear, although it could be because people with higher education are less likely to adopt unhealthy behaviors. In Denmark, fart control on a road sign means speed check as the Danish word for speed is fart, and control means check. For some time London's pigeons have been fair dodging on the London underground to make their life easier and also appear to be passing their knowledge on to the next generation. They search the platforms for food and when they have finished, they will board a train and travel to another station. Some people are of the opinion that they do this for pleasure as well as food. A researcher from Oxford University has discovered that addressing obesity and type 2 diabetes may be as easy as opening a bedroom window at night. The presence of a cool breeze can have impact on health by reducing the temperature of the bedroom making the body burn more calories to maintain body temperature. In the TV show Into the Universe with Stephen Hawking, Hawking the renowned physicist revealed he hosted a unique party for time travelers on June 28, 2009. Invitations were produced and Hawking hoped that they would hang around for thousands of years and that people from the future would attend, unfortunately he was alone for the party. A study by the University of Georgia found that the probability of giving birth to a girl rather than a boy increases significantly the nearer the mother lives to the equator. It studied the sex ratio of newborn babies in 202 countries, from northern Europe to equatorial Africa, and found a clear link between latitude and the sex of a newborn baby. Prisoners on Alcatraz, which is situated in San Francisco Bay, one and a quarter miles offshore, were always allowed hot showers so they didn't get acclimatized to cold water and try to escape by swimming. In 1960, actor and future 40th President of the United States of America, Ronald Reagan, auditioned for a role as a president in a play titled The Best Man, but the producers did not consider him to be a suitable fit for the part, as they believed he didn't have a presidential appearance. James Garfield, the 20th President of the United States, was shot by an assassin in 1881. Despite medical attention, he suffered complications from the lodged bullet and was bedridden for the last three months of his life, being fed through his anus, which caused him great discomfort. He passed away in September 1881 due to blood poisoning. A study by Robin Dunbar, of Oxford University, found that people tend to lose close friends when they enter into a new romantic relationship. On average, a new partner pushes out two close friends, resulting in a smaller, more distant group. The research showed that both men and women are equally likely to lose their closest friends. During an interview with Chelsea Handler, the One Direction singer confirmed a long-standing rumor that he has four nipples. This condition, known as polythelia, results in individuals having extra nipples. As Styles stated during the interview, it's a thing. At present, the internet hosts around 1.6 billion active sites, however, around 99% of these websites cannot be accessed through search engines like Google and are instead part of the deep web. These are typically hidden behind passwords, firewalls, or other security measures to protect sensitive information or illegal activities from being accessed. When UK store, Marks & Spencers introduced the avocado in 1968, marketed as an avocado pear, they had to produce a leaflet explaining that it was to be eaten with salad after customers were cooking them and serving them with custard or cream as a dessert. A new study suggests that in the world of luxury brands, rude sales staff can actually increase sales. Customers who receive a cold reception at high-end retailers are more likely to purchase expensive items. The study also suggested that snobbiness may be a desirable trait for luxury brands, as it can create a sense of exclusivity and aspiration for consumers comparable to the in-group that students aspire to join at college. Tom Hanks loves vintage typewriters and has a collection of over 100 of them and has even wrote a book of short stories in which each tale featured a typewriter. He says the sensation of typing on them is incomparable to that of a modern laptop and sees old-school typing as something truly special. In 1993, the French government passed a law saying that to be called a bakery, traditional baguettes have to be made on the premises where they're sold and can only be made with wheat flour, water, salt and yeast. 
Also they can't be frozen, so they will go stale within 24 hours. If there is no local bakery, the seller must display a sign, showing that bread is made elsewhere. The Oxford Electric Bell, powered by a battery acquired in 1840, rings to this day after over 175 years and 10 billion rings. The battery is on display at the University of Oxford's Clarendon Laboratory and is considered the world's most durable battery by Guinness World Records. Nobody knows exactly how it has functioned for so long, as opening it could destroy the battery. Sylvester Stallone's bull mastiff, Butkus, appeared as Rocky's dog in the first two movies. However, when he was broke, Stallone sold him for $40 to a man he met in a liquor store. After receiving a $35,000 advance for the Rocky script, he waited outside the store for three days to buy the dog back, but the man refused to sell. Stallone finally paid him $15,000 for the dog. Now forgotten, the pet rock was a craze in the 1970s, where people bought rocks and treated them like pets. Millions were sold, and each purchase came with a pet rock instruction manual. It was created by Gary Dahl, an advertising executive, as a satirical take on pet trends at the time, but it ended up making him $15 million. Please consider subscribing so you can keep on being notified when new videos are released, and remember to keep a lookout for more collections of head-exploding facts.